Hello. Hi guys. Hello. So we have an announcement to make, as you can tell from the title of this video. And uh, yes. <laughs> the announcement is that yeah, I'm going to Vilnius uh, because we bought an apartment here. Yeah. So now we'll have two homes, one in the seaside and one here in the capital and we'll move between the two cities basically when it's warmer we'll live in Klaipeda probably because yes. we'll go to the beach and um, yeah so you can tell about the apartment itself so unfortunately the, the building is a non-construction building and it's from 70s I believe so we're gonna make a renovation of the apartment and uh, we're gonna show it to you guys. Yeah, we'll document the whole process. Actually, we already started. So it will be series um, starting from, from scratch. Uh, today, we'll show you guys the actual plan of the apartment, what it looks like right now. And then we'll take you to the apartment to show you you know, how the previous owners left it. Okay, in the um, second series, you'll see what we're planning to do with it, what walls we will take down. But the problem is that because it's uh, a building from the 70s, there are lots of restrictions and we cannot move too many walls, you know? So, yeah, what else? So we'll be documenting every step of the process. We'll take you guys to interior shops, home decor places, and show you what colors, textures uh, we're choosing for the apartment and why. Um, so I guess we'll learn a lot from this process and you guys might um, get some tips from us as well if you're getting an old apartment and want to start from scratch. Um, and uh, yes, we hope that you'll enjoy watching and being uh, together with us during the renovation process. Yeah, and we'll try to make it as interesting as possible for you guys. So enjoy the first um, of the series and yeah, keep an eye out for the other parts. All right, guys, so this is the current plan of the apartment. So when you enter into the hallway, on the left, you have our bedroom, on the right, our living room. If you go straight from the hallway, you enter into our bathroom, and then there's uh, a little hallway that leads to the kitchen. And then there's also a balcony. Now here you can see what will change with the plant. So the baby blue color is the walls that will knock down and the green color marks the wall that will have to be built. Here is what we wanted to do with our apartment. Uh, basically you can see that we uh, extended our bathroom. We wanted to knock down one wall and make the bathroom really spacious. But unfortunately that couldn't be done. We came across some difficulties. So now let's move on to the final project. And the X marks the wall that we couldn't knock down that we have to leave. So the bathroom stays the same size. I've added a little arrow that indicates where our washing machine will be and right above it there will be a storage unit with lots of shelves for all of our cleaning products. Then in the bedroom we'll have um, a big wardrobe and then next to the window probably a dressing table or something that we haven't planned yet. And then we'll have an open space in the living room with a couch that will be facing a TV. Next to the window, we'll have our dining table and a place where Rokas and I will be working and uh, it will lead to the kitchen, uh, which will have a window as well, so it's nice. Um, the kitchen will have some natural light coming through the window. And then I forgot to mention on the hallway, on the right, we'll have a little bench and maybe a mirror right above it some um, prints hanging on the wall because we're planning to leave a little bit of the wall so that it would separate the hallway from the rest of the room and then in the corner we'll have some storage and then some shelving units welcome to our new apartment 
So this is, I'm gonna lock the door. This is the entryway or the hallway. Uh, it's quite narrow and I'm gonna take you guys through the whole apartment now. So start from here, you have a little cabinet, mirror here, we've got the bedroom and there's a wardrobe through this whole wall lots of storage space there's another wardrobe uh the things that are pulled out here um well basically we're giving away everything so people have been rummaging through things they can take anything because the owners actually left everything this is what the walls look like and you've got the dressing table here with the makeup table an extra table here a window and then another cabinet some shelves here's me in the corner well this is the dresser and this is the overview of the bedroom it's actually quite light there's a lot of light coming through this window okay we're going back to the hallway and then right in front of the bedroom you've got the bathroom and it's really really tiny so got the toilet the washing machine the sink the tub and a cabinet there okay and here is the entrance to the kitchen so you've got a typical <laughs> storage room here um in the hallway this is uh very typical of uh, apartments of this year uh my apartment had this storage unit as well in Klaipeda. um it's just a thing that most apartments of this period have okay so we've got linoleum floors Okay, so from the bathroom, you go into the kitchen, which looks like this. So you've got the sink, oven, some storage cabinets, um, and yeah, the owner has left a lot of things, as you can see. Um, it's got tiles through here, baby blue tiles. And then this, I don't even know, I think it's wallpaper. That's supposed to look like wood. Anyway, so you've got the fridge here, dining table, some storage cabinets, shelves, some of our even if you're Russian or from a post-Soviet country, you'll know what that is. So yeah, this is a kitchen, pretty small, pretty standard, again, for apartments of this period. Um, all right, now let me take you to the living room. So we're back to the hallway. Um, you've got hangers for uh, your coats, shoe storage, and then here is the living room. <laughs> the living room has the furniture that probably 90% of Lithuanians had or still have. A lot of people still have these cabinets. Uh, my grandmother still has these. So you've got bookcases here. We actually have this exact same clock in my parents' home. It was their wedding present, I believe and we have the exact same one here so anyway we've got a couch right here and then a lot of books focus behind me <laughs> uh, a lot of russian books because the person is russian this massive red carpet a desk a tv uh we actually tried peeling off the wallpaper to see what's underneath it and there's an older pretty similar looking but older wallpaper this should be super easy to remove but this one will be a pain in the bum i can already tell it's yeah it reminds me what 
was in my own apartment in Klippele. Pretty similar situation. Here's Rokas measuring things. And we've also got a pretty long, it's narrow, but it's a long balcony that goes from here uh, through the kitchen. So yeah, this is the main living room where we'll be spending most of our time, I believe. Um, but yeah, everything will change. So this is an initial view. Um, we have a different plan of the apartment and um, we have lots of ideas of what we're gonna do with it. Yeah. And by the way, I didn't mention, there's parquet floor. Um, linoleum fl floor in the hallway, in the bathroom and the kitchen, and then bedroom and living room has this beautiful parquet. So I think we'll most likely keep it and find, already found, similar um wooden, I don't know what you call them, wooden tiles, parquet tiles uh, installed here. So everything will be, like the whole apartment will have natural wood floor. But obviously this lacquer layer will have to go, it will um, be removed and then um, the floor will be painted or toned. I don't even know what's the English term for it, but it will be uh, restored or renewed basically because it's nice having natural wood floor and um, I think it will save some money just restoring the old wood instead of changing the floor of the entire apartment. So I'm not gonna go too much into details of what's gonna be done because that will be another series. This is just the first glimpse, as I said. That's it. This is what we'll be working with. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in episode number two. Bye. Bye.